Hello again, welcome to this tip for patterning an object in Inventor along a 3D sketch curve. This is the result of an interesting support call we had recently and I wanted to share the results with you guys. If you've been using Inventor for a while you'll be probably aware that using the rectangular pattern inside a part file um, you can pattern a feature or a solid body, let's pattern a solid body, along a, a curve a 2D or 3D sketch curve using this direction one button um, and if I choose the um, the quantity and the spacing here I'll get these objects patterning along the curve which is fine you might also be aware that if you want the orientation to follow the curve you can expand uh, this dialog box here and you can make the orientation of the objects the same as the direction of the curve and you see when I toggle that we can actually get the orientation of the objects to be following the curve which in many circumstances will be sufficient to get you what you want but in this case for this support call if I say OK for that um, if I look at these objects in, from a side view here we can see that they're not actually following the correct orientation the twist of these uh, these handrail stanchions is correct but you can see they're actually tilting as they go up this curve so because of the compound curvature I guess of this 3D sketch line curve here um, we're not able actually to keep the correct orientation of these objects so what can we do about that? Well if I delete this rectangular pattern um, a way that I came up with uh, which may not be the simplest way I'm very interested if you guys can come up with any better solutions to this is actually using the sketch driven pattern feature which was introduced in Inventor 2016 um, but we need to do a bit of construction work beforehand before we're able to use that because this sketch driven pattern requires points in a 3D sketch so I want points in a 3D sketch that are equally spaced as I'm going up this curve so what's the, the quickest way of doing that well I'm going to start a point here um, and I'm going to put the point on the origin here and then I'm going to do another rectangular pattern much like I did before I'll pick the uh, the feature which is this sketch point I'll choose the direction same as I did before which is that 3D sketch curve quantity and spacing as as desired um, and I'll just say OK and now I've got sketch points as you can see that go up that curve. So I'm going to turn that curve off by right click V to turn off the visibility of that curve um, and now what I want to do is to actually bring these work points into a sketch. So I'm going to start a 3D sketch seems a little bit long-winded doesn't it but I had to pattern those points separately and then actually base a sketch point off of those work points um, because I can't directly pattern points inside a 3D sketch here uh, at least not to the best of my knowledge so I'm going to start a, a point here inside the sketch and snap a point to each one of these patterned work points that I created previously whoops if I can actually manage to pick them here so it's a bit of a manual step here but uh, let's drop that one down there um, and I'm going to finish this sketch so now I can I could use my rectangular excuse me use my sketch driven pattern here and I can pick my solid body or feature um, it's automatically picked the sketch I could pick my base point here for the pattern which is this point down here Got to make sure I pick that center point and I'm nearly there except the orientation is the problem here so you see the orientation of these uh, stanchions is not adjusting as it goes around the curve here so this is where I need a guide face um, to set uh, the the twist of those objects okay so let's use that sketch that we had previously here let's right click and turn this on in order to create a guide um, surface for ourselves so the easiest way I can think of doing this is with a ruled surface if I pick this vector option um, I'll uh, choose the the sketch the 3d sketch curve itself and my vector can be uh, you know uh, uh, an axis or a line here that's fine um, and I'll just drag that down there's my guide surface so now if I pattern this uh, stanchion along that curve uh, excuse me on those points using the guide surface I should get the result that I want so I'm going to again hit sketch driven pattern pick the solid that I want to pattern 
pick the sketch. Uh, I'll pick this 3D sketch here from the browser. Pick my base point. And then let's pick the face that we want to use for our reference, which is this one here. So you see now these objects have snapped uh, to be parallel to the face or perpendicular to the face. And uh, let's say, OK, let's create them all as new solids. Let's say, OK, and let's just confirm that we get the uh, correct result in the other view as well. Let's just look in the front view. None of these objects appear to be twisting. Let's look in a side view and we don't have the problem that we had before with these objects skewing sideways. So a few more steps in there, but uh, should be a more robust way uh, for really complex patterning along uh, 3D curves. Okay, hope you find this helpful. Thanks a lot.